Holy Thursday. Holy Thursday is part of Holy Week and Holy Week is part of the Easter story. Easter is a sad story because Jesus died on the cross. But don't worry, the story has a very happy ending. Jesus had many friends, but there were also people who hated him. A number of religious leaders did. They were angry at what Jesus said about God. They believed they were experts in telling people how to live as God wanted. Yet, Jesus told the people the wrong they did was forgiven. How dare he? On Holy Thursday or Maundy Thursday, Maundy comes from the old word for law, Jesus and his disciples had their very last supper and Jesus shared bread and wine with his friends. Jesus also gave his friends a new law. Jesus and his friends were about to have a special meal together, the Passover meal. After they arrived in Jerusalem, they all went into a room that had been prepared for this meal. Jesus was the special guest, but no one offered him water to wash his feet. Jesus got up from the table, took off his coat and tied a towel around his waist. He poured some water into a large bowl and began to wash his friend's feet and dry them with a towel. In Jesus' time, people wore sandals and their feet got very dirty on the dusty roads. Washing people's feet was the worst job you could do, yet Jesus volunteered to do it. Jesus explained that he was setting an example that people should be willing to care for each other. He said he was giving people a new law. Jesus said people should be willing to care for each other, love one another as I have loved you. This is the way that people will know that you are my followers. Jesus wanted to teach his friends an important lesson by washing their feet. He knew that he wouldn't be with them much longer because he was soon going to die. He wanted his friends to remember that he loved them so much that he became, he became like a servant to them. He wanted them to show love and respect for others when he was no longer there. It is not, it's not appropriate for us to go around washing each other's feet, but it's still good to show love and respect towards others. In some churches on Maundy Thursday, the vicar may wash 12 people's feet as a reminder of Jesus' new law. The new law isn't telling people to wash each other's feet. It is saying, show love in, in whatever way you can. I wonder how his friends felt as Jesus washed their feet. At the table, Jesus explained that one of his friends would soon betray him to his enemies. Jesus also said that very soon he was going to die. 
The disciples were very sad. But Jesus smiled and said that he would still be with them and they would see him with their very own eyes. Then Jesus sat down and ate the meal with his friends. This was the last meal he shared with his friends before he died. During this meal, he changed the words of the traditional Passover meal and commanded his followers to break bread and drink wine in his memory. I'm going to read from the Bible now, from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, beginning at verse 26. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. This act of remembrance is known as the Eucharist or Holy Communion, the Last Supper, or Mass. At the end of their meal, Jesus and the other disciples went out to the garden. There, Jesus prayed intensely, while the disciples, they just slept. Shortly afterwards, Judas arrived with a large crowd and Jesus was arrested. I wonder why Judas betrayed Jesus. I would like you to take a closer look at the picture you may begin to realise that it's packed full of details. You may realise that lots of the objects can be linked to many aspects of Christian life. You may realise that many of the objects can be linked to Bible stories. I wonder what objects you can see that are linked to the Easter story. I wonder what objects you can link to other stories in the Bible. What other stories do you know where there is bread or wine in the story? Why do you think there is a candle? And why is there a cockerel? Easter is a sad story because Jesus died on the cross. But don't worry, the story has a very happy ending.